Hello everybody! Well, I just got back from Chicago, Chicago, Illinois, and I am so excited. I saw so many amazing people. I made such great connections. We were out there with the Susan Lynn and the Kevin Lewis and Sybil Harmony and Allison the Stone Spirit and Efefe, the Touch by Tarot High Priestess and Donna the Animal Communicator. And we were just so lovingly connected and it was so amazing. And I couldn't have asked for a better time out there, um, a better support system. And everyone is so amazing in their own way. So if you haven't watched all of those people or connected with all of those people, please do so as soon as possible, as soon as possible. Now, something has been coming up in me since then because we had someone get up and essentially ask about healing um, in a way where healing, it wasn't believed that healing was possible for her physical body. And interestingly enough, this was something that I was going uh, to talk about in my presentation. I actually had eight minutes set aside for that part of my presentation. And then when it got to that part, spirit closed my mouth. The words would not come up and I actually stopped what I was doing, went and changed the music to the next song and began the next topic. And even when she presented this question, I started to speak on some of it and then I stopped again. So I felt like it was something that maybe needed its own voice, its own video, its own space entirely. We can always heal, whether it is physical, spiritual, emotional, and the mind is involved in all three of those things. So when we go to heal, a lot of the time we're looking at healing physical things and physical things can be healed. Miracles can happen. Instantaneous physical healing can happen. I've seen it before. I've had clients heal themselves from hair loss, from food allergies, from, um, I've seen a client heal herself from a pituitary tumor, in fact. There are so many physical healings that have happened, neuropathy, pain, um, autoimmune disorders and diseases, and they can be healed because they were caused from negative thought systems, uh, limiting belief systems. They were caused from negative energy being held in the body long term. They were caused from even past karmic cycles and past karmic events and just things from past lives that we're still holding inside of ourselves. And so when we heal those things, when we release those false belief systems, when we release all of the things that are limiting us, poisoning us and causing toxicity within our body, that our bodies can heal. But we start on the inside out. We start on the emotional levels. We start on the thought processes. We always heal the spirit. The spirit is always the thing that we're healing and then that ripples out into everything else. Now, the part that I think I wanted to touch on that people at that particular time weren't quite ready to face or deal with is what happens when we're not meant to heal physically. What do we do when our disease has gone too far into our physical form? What do we do when the disease that we have is something that our soul built into this life in order to give us an out? Nobody wants to face death. And this is the thing you have to be able to face because we all die. And the reality is we don't heal because we're fearing death. You manifest what you are focusing on. So if your focus and intent is fearing death and fearing illness, you will not heal death or illness. Your focus has to be to bring peace. Remember what I said in my presentation about what healing is. Healing is restoring the soul to its natural blueprint. And that is your focus. 
that is your goal. Your goal is to restore yourself to your natural blueprint, not because you are fearful and suffering. And the only reason we return to our natural blueprint is so that we can accomplish the things that we incarnated to accomplish, so that we could be who we needed to be and wanted to be in this particular life. So if your disease is built in, if it's something that before you incarnated, you said, and this will be the thing that I experience in this life, then the only thing that you can do is to not suffer. The only thing that you can do is take the medium that you gave yourself before you incarnated and create a masterpiece with it. Be at peace with it. We all die, but we don't have to die suffering and in pain and in fear. That defeats the point of what we're here experiencing. When we die, we want to die at peace with what we have created. We want to die in joy and in that love space because from love is where all things flow. So yes, all things can be healed, but it may not always be a physical healing. Sometimes what you're doing is just healing your perspective on what's happening in your life because all healing whether physical or not is spiritual is emotional is mental is mind because mind controls all things and I'm gonna talk about that waka in my next video there's a lot of people who are talking about the energy portal that we opened uh, in Chicago during my presentation and I'm going to talk a little bit about that in my next video, what exactly that was, what it entailed, and how you, moving forward, can work with that. Because if you were there, you still have that inside of you. And it's working. It's weeding its way through your body. So um, we will work on that in the next video. So if you don't know, I am Mary with the Rustic Raven Energy Medicine and Holistic Healing. And I am also the president and founder of earth and star spiritual wellness center which is this youtube channel so if you want an appointment with me or one of the amazing healers i work with go to the rustic raven.net that's t-h-e-r-u-s-t-i-c-r-a-v-e-n.net and book with someone there we also have a way to shop online from that site uh, so we have crystals incense uh, tons of cool things there for you to look at and we'll just ship it out to you and they've all been touched by me and by our amazing healers so if you want that energy in your home you better go get it bye